In this screencast, we're going to look at the iTeacher app on an iPhone and an Android. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually find the iTeacher app, and I'm going to remove it so that I can show you what it looks like right from the beginning. So I'm going to remove the app itself, delete the app, delete. So now I'm going to go to the App Store, and I'm going to search for the iTeacher app. So let me click on the search button and search for iTeacher. And let's just search. And you should see we've got one here, this purple one at the top, the iTeacher app. And I'm going to download that. Hopefully it will download quite quickly, depending upon my Wi-Fi speed. Um, whilst that is, oh, that was quite quick. So when we launch for the first time, it will tell us what the school code is. Now, the school code used to be PAT, but we consolidated all of the Firefly apps and the iSAMS apps. So the school code is now Patina. So if you see that anywhere in terms of uh, publications, it's always Patina for all of the school apps. It will go and search for that, and you'll see this screen here saying that it's been validated, and click OK. Now, to access all of our iSAMS apps, you do actually need to have a um, authenticator app. It's called two-factor authentication. So it's just like when you log into your bank account and you're given a code when you try and buy something. It's exactly the same for ours. And you cannot bypass it. Everybody has to use two-factor authentication. All of the teachers as well, when they're off-site taking the register, have to do it. So I'm just going to show you um, the one I use and the one I recommend is this one here, down here. It's called Google Authenticator. And so again, if I just search for that in the App Store, there are two actually. There's a Microsoft one and a Google one. And I prefer the Google one. I think the Google one's fine. Um, and you can see here it is. Look, I've already got it installed. Now, when you first um, log in, it will provide a QR code for you on the screen. And you can use that QR code to actually link iSAMS to your authenticator. And then when you launch the authenticator, you can see the top one there is Bangkok Partner Schools iSAMS. And over a short period of time, these numbers keep on changing. So let's just watch the screen change for a second. And you'll see all of these numbers reset themselves. So you can see I've got lots of um, two-factor authentication for the different services that I'm subscribed to. So let's go back to the one that was just installed. There it is, the IT, I, Sam's iTeacher. Now you'll be given a username. Um, for the staff, you only need to type in your four-letter code. For the ECA providers, you'll be sent those usernames. Um, one second. You need to go out. Thank you. And I'm just going to move this off the screen for a second whilst I put in my password so that you can't see the password. Um, I just had my sons come in then. One of them's in tears. So I'll sort that out afterwards. And I'm now going to sign in. And you'll see when I sign in, um, Okay, not now. When I sign in, it will ask me for the verification code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my authenticator, and you can see I'm not going to copy that code because I won't be able to have time to be able to copy it. But now I'm going to click on this one, and it says copied down there. And if I go back to my iSAMS and then paste into there, now you need to do this quite quickly because that code has is a uh, uh, as a timer on it. So I'm going to click on this one here. Don't don't ask me again for seven days and click verify. And hopefully I did that fast enough to be able to authenticate. So it looks like that's working, which is great. And it's downloading the profile. Now you can see the third one. I actually don't want notifications. So I'm going to click don't allow. And um, we've got everything on our app working along. Now we've got dashboard, comms, and wizards. It's wizards that I want. And the top one, sorry, the second one down, the purple one with the clock icon says attendance and school. I'm going to register by group, not by teacher. Um, and at the moment, there's no registers. But if we go back to last week, and we click on Friday, 
ECA start at 231 normally or 230. So I'm just going to click on 231. And you can see there are some ECAs that are already there to populate. At the moment, those ECAs have been written in, but they're ghost ECAs because they haven't started until next week. So you would click on this and then you would take the register as normal. So that's how it works for the iPhone in terms of the iTeacher app and taking the register. So every seven days, you will have to use that authenticator to get your numbers and you can copy them and then paste them in. So let's have a look at an Android device. On an Android device, um, you just go to the Play Store. I'm not going to actually reset everything right from the beginning from the Android device. Um, because that will make the video too long. But if I again search for iTeacher in the Play Store, then you should be able to see the same colored icon. And actually, this one requires an update. So I shouldn't really have clicked on that in the video. <clears throat> but let's see how fast it does the update itself. Hopefully, it doesn't make the video uh, too long. Well, that's pretty good. So I'm just going to click on Open. And I'm going to log out of this one and actually um, show you from the beginning again. Now, I'm actually just looking at the icons down here, and you can see this icon down here where the wizards are. It looks like there's not very much difference in the color between the two. Now, that may be the device that I'm on. I'll actually look at the color gamut a little bit later on and maybe change that. So again, click on this, and you go to attendance and out of school, register by group, and select the particular week that you're on so if we go to friday it's the same screen again and we go let's go to 230 and have a look at 230 there should be lots of uh, ecas as well which are represented but it's quite dark on this particular screen itself so um, if i go back again what i'm going to do i'm actually going to sign out um, i'm going to log out and we'll log back in again using Allow this page to open the iTeacher app. Hit OK. And it will give me the username and password. I'm just going to move this screen off for a second whilst I put those details in because I don't want you logging into my account. And sign in. Now, again, it will ask me for the verification code. If I haven't put a verification code in for the first time, then a, um, a QR code will appear on here, and that will allow me to connect my, um, my verification app, my Authenticator app. Now, you can only have the Authenticator app on one device that you are using. Um, so I can't get the verification code off of this device. I just need to go back to my iPhone and then get the verification code off my iPhone. So let me just do that for a second and type in the verification number. I'm going to wait for a second because the timer is going to be, just click not now here, the timer is going to be too slow. Well, I'm going to be too slow typing it in. So let's go for this one, 323108. And I'm going to click remember me for seven days and click verify. And now I'm in to the iSAMS app again. So if you have any problems whatsoever, then please contact the email addresses or helpdesk at patna.ac.th and they should be able to support you. I hope you found that useful.